Wasn't that awesome, guys? That was great. Today we have a very special speaker with us. He is an upcoming Christian rapper in Waynesboro, and his name is Joseph Dozier. So please give him a hand of applause. Well, my name is Joseph Dozier. I'm 19 years old, and I'm from Portsmouth, Virginia. Today I would like to talk to y'all about I would like to talk to y'all about fearing the fear of the Lord. The fear of God means to depart from evil. How many of y'all have your Bibles with you today? Only two people? What? Where's your Bible at? Alright, good. Good. If you could turn to me with um Turn to Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. <laughs> Alright. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and instructions fools despise. I want to talk about instruction. What is instruction? It's a command from God. And it's a demand. You know, God gives us. God, when we fear the Lord, we we gain instruction. We have to obey his commands. You know, in Psalm, Psalm 25, verse 10, it says, All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful towards those who keep the demands of the covenant. You know. But what are some of his commands? I would like to have a volunteer, please. Just one? All right, come on. Um, to love one another. Love, one, love one another. Anybody else? Okay, anybody else? No one else. Mm, she, I'm just playing. <laughs> Alright. Alright. That is a good answer to follow the Ten Commandments. Um, one of the Ten Commandments is to honor your mother and father. Verse Deut Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 16. You know, love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, verse 39. Make disciples. 28. Matthew 28 to 20. Love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Matthew, um, cha um, chapter 8, tw 28, verse 37. You know, the song I just played for you was basically my testimony. How I was living a double life and how I was just, I claimed to follow Christ. But I, always, I was also walking with the devil's plans for his life, for my life. You know, I grew up in the church. I grew up, I went to Christian school like this uh, from, from K-5 to fourth grade. But as soon as I got out, I went to public school. And in fifth grade to my 12th grade, I knew Christ. I knew what he was about. I knew he died for me. I knew he died for everybody, but I was not following his commands. You know, I was lusting, getting drunk, doing illegal drugs, lying, backsliding from God, not honoring my mother and father. Most importantly, not following God's commands. But the outcome of that situation as I grew up I just got tired of living a double life. Just got tired of claiming to know Christ and claiming to be a Christian, but I, was, I wasn't doing what God commanded me to do. I started to follow Satan's lies and I was just not even near God at all in my life. But after I got tired of it, 
I really knew what meant what it really meant to say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, wisdom, instruction. I gained instructions and I departed from evil. Now I moved, I lived in Chesterfield before before I came to Williamsburg and that was my high school career. My high school career, like I said earlier, I was I was just following the devil's temptations. I was following what the devil had to offer. But then when I moved to Williamsburg, I started, I went to, I started going back to church with my mom. Um, I went to a church called Crosswalk Community Church. And I went to a youth retreat that I signed up to be a youth leader and also a student. So I had the experience to do both. So that really changed my life and really, I got a perspective of what God was all about and what, what he is, who he is, how he loves. So then, like I said earlier, I was, I turned away from evil. I turned away from my evil ways. Then every day out of life, I was, I was trying to follow God's commands, trying every day of my life to follow God's commands. But then, I hung out with some of my, I hung out with some of my old friends from high school, and I went down to college. One time, I went down to Norfolk to their college then I backslided. You know, I knew what God's commands were, but I wasn't following them. You know, I, I, my plan was to go down to college, go down to the college, and be the perfect Christian, show them what it really meant to, to be a Christian, show them how to live life like a Christian, but I didn't do it. I didn't do one, one bit of it at all, not at all. But God convicted me every time I went down to that college, went back to my old evil ways, and I was just so tired, so tired of backsliding from God and not obeying his commands. You know, in Isaiah, Chapter one, Isaiah chapter one, verse 16, it says, gotta get here right quick. It says, wash and make yourself clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong, learn to do right. I really took that scripture to heart because God doesn't look at us when we're not following his deeds. God doesn't look at us when we're not obeying his commands. You know, it, it could be a small command, thou shalt not lie. If we tell a little lie, that's still doing evil. If we're not honoring our mother and father, if we're throwing hissy fits for no reason and not being respectful to our parents, God doesn't like that. You know, it is easy to know the gospel, but it is hard to keep God's commands. Um, David, for instance, He, he followed God's commands. He told, he told people to fear God, but there was some points in his life where he didn't, he backed God and he messed up. But every day of his life, he was, he was trying so hard to follow God's commands and trying to do right so God can look down on him 
and bless him. You know, one day, all of y'all are going to grow up. Y'all are middle schoolers right now. Y'all are going to grow up, and y'all are going to be exposed to what the devil has to offer you. So when that happens, ask yourself this. What are you going to do when the devil has to offer all his evil ways? When you're exposed to a lot of the devil's plans for your life, what are you going to do? Are you going to follow God? Or are you going to turn away from evil? I mean, are you going to follow God, turn away from evil? Or are you going to follow Satan and turn to his evil ways? No, being a Christian doesn't mean following Jesus just a certain point, just a certain amount of time throughout your life. It means following Jesus every day out your life. You know, when you get home, you go hang out with your friends, love your neighbor as yourself, honor your mother and father, you know, some of y'all might even go to a new school next year, and what are y'all going to do? If y'all do, just saying. Y'all might not even go to a new school, but if y'all do, y'all are going to be exposed to what the devil has to offer. So what are you going to do? Are you going to keep God's commands, or are you going to follow Satan? You know... I said earlier, I, I went to Gateway Christian School down in Virginia Beach, and I went down to, I went to Greenbrier Christian Academy in Greenbrier, Chesapeake. You know, and I grew up with my friend Adam and Jay. And we both, we all went to a Christian school. We all, we all knew who God was. We all knew that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. We knew the gospel. But as soon as we started going to the world, as soon as we started going to a new life, the devil had to offer something. And that was his temptations. That was his, that was his, that was his sin that he had to offer. Trust me, I went through it, and the outcome of me doing all this was me following Satan. I knew God, me following Satan, and then now I'm sitting here talking to y'all right now. You know, I never thought I would be doing this, never thought I would be doing this. You know, I could be anywhere else right now, but God wants me here because he loves you and since he loves you that means I also love you too I know y'all don't understand that but I also love y'all because God has commanded me to love you and God has commanded me to give you what his words are what his wills for you is and there was a question this whole week that that was on my mind, you know, two people asked me, what do I want to get out of this sermon? What do I want this message to be? I didn't know I was stuck. I didn't know until yesterday. But I asked God, and he wanted me to say, follow his commands. Follow his commands every day out your life. Because one day you will be exposed to what Satan has to offer you. You know, I know some of y'all are like, oh, I do follow God's commands. You know, I'm, I'm perfect. I'm, I'm that perfect little kid right now. I'm, I get good grades in school. I, I, I follow God's commands. Do you? Ask yourself that. 
Do I really follow God's commands? Do I really follow God's commands? Because I know I don't all the time. It's hard to follow God's commands all the time. You know, sometimes I'll tell a little lie, but I'm convicted of that lie because it's very important. Sometimes I disrespect my mother sometimes, and God convicts me of doing that. But the fact of the matter is, we have to keep his command so he will love you for the rest of your life and be faithful to you. Yeah, I know he loves you unconditionally, but he does not look down on the wicked until they turn away from the evil deeds. God loves you. All he wants from you is to follow his commands. It's very important to follow his commands. I know a lot of young women and wo- young men and women who know who Jesus is, know know what kind of lifestyle um, Jesus Jesus did for them, but they still don't follow his commands. So does that mean does that mean are they followers of Jesus Christ, or does it mean they are wicked? So, again, I'm going to leave off with this. Follow God's commands, fear God, and turn away from evil, depart from evil. And if God convicts you of not following all of his commands, not following all of his instructions, ask God for forgiveness because he died for that. He died for all of that. Do not be the one of those who fear God. Do not be the one of those who don't fear God and don't keep his commands. Fear God, depart from evil, and gain wisdom, knowledge, and most importantly, instruction. Father God, I just thank you for this opportunity to talk to these young men and women today. Um, You know, we all make mistakes in our life, but I just pray that you see that we are trying every day to follow your commands. And I just pray that you watch over these young men and women as they grow up out their lives, that you will protect them and keep them in your hands and show them what your commands are. If they don't understand, help them underst- help them to understand, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. We rock, we roll. He loves us, this we know. We rock, we roll.